All right. Um, so we're heading back to Fallon Woods where it all began, like I stated previously. Um, I take it I can um, warp. Thank God. So, um, yeah, so now I can warp now from this time forward in the game. I can warp. Look who it is. It's the female monkey. Oh, what the hell are these things? Did you save me? Thank you. Listen, since you're so nice, let me tell you something. There's a really pretty wooded area on the other side of this cliff. I climbed over there, but when I tried to get deeper in the woods, those guys attacked me. What's in those woods anyway? Uh, I, it's probably the Master Sword. Um, I'm trying to have you, yeah, I'm trying to do that, and I want to talk to you. Okay. Oh, and then, yep, and there, that, that, yep, yep. Saw that coming from a mile away. Are you serious? I have to start all the way over here? You just can't put me where I was? No, I don't want to talk to you. I didn't even open that chest from, Let's see what this chest is. Oh, it's a real, that was a waste. And these two assholes appear again. Pack you in the tunnel. Or at least you gave me my heart back. It's a howling stone. And that sounds like the prelude of light from Ocarina of Time. That was ridiculous. I cut a lot of that out. So he appears at the southern gate of Hyrule Castle Town. Oh yeah, 
that's this part. I like the music. Sorry, a song back from an ocarina time. And what is this? This is like another Howling Stone. And it's Zelda's lullaby. the skull kid oh my every time he, he blows his little uh, horn his puppets show up and when you kill all of them he'll summon more of them so you have to look for, uh, like, you have to try to figure out where he went. Okay, so he's close. You can hear him playing his, like, trumpet, his horn, whatever the hell it is. That's when you know he, oh, there he is. He's playing Saria song. And sometimes you can uh, find him. I don't know, since it's like light out this time, because we'll have to do this again. The next time it's going to be dark. You can see where he's at with his lantern. I don't know if he's over here. There's certain places where he goes. These things piss me off. They're like gnats. Well, he'll be up here soon enough. He's not here now. Yeah, I know that. Yeah, I could do that. Kill them all at once. Okay, so he... I hear him. Oh, okay, okay. Swim through here. He's like up in the tree or something. Oh no, actually, that thing I mentioned about, you know, something I have to look up, I don't have to now. Oh, I saw him. He went through this way. So he's up above. So this is where I was just at, right? Yeah. What does she say now? She's just like, oh no, never mind. I thought she was gonna actually say something. Huh. 
Oh yeah, by the way, that rock right there, there's something good underneath that rock from what I can remember. A good way to attack him here is kill enough of his uh, puppets. See, because he'll disappear. Oh, as soon as you get close to him. Um, kill enough of his uh, puppets so once he blows his. Uh... Oh, he's not doing it yet. Yeah, once he blows his uh, horn, he'll hesitate, and I'll, that'll give you like a small window to hit him. Come on. Serious. Damn it. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Oh, he's too high. Come on. Nice. Hee hee, bye. Yeah, so this is this was the rock I was talking about. I have to come back here in human form. And then change into a wolf, and then dig. Okay. No, this is, yeah, wait a minute. Yeah, never mind, I was wrong. Shit balls. Well, F that up. Yeah, I was wrong. This was the thing I'm supposed to look up because I forget the uh, combination. Shit. So basically what we have to do is we have to take these two statues and um, yeah, we have to put them back on the switches they were just standing on. We are the guardians of this land. Guide us to where we once stood. Only then you can enter the true sacred grove. I want to move myself right. Down. Left. Left. Up. Right. Up. Up. Right. Down, down, left. Down. Down. Left. Finally up. Yep. Thank you, strategy guide. Go now 
out to the sacred place, beast. We yield passage to the sacred grove. And here it is. Ooh, ah. Uh. And there's that thing that actually Zent put um, through Link's temple on his head. I don't know. Oh, yeah. What a great picture. I actually got this on my Miiverse. Got to capture that picture. The sword accepted you as its master. I am master of the master sword. And this time we don't have to build up its power like in Wind Waker. This thing is the embodiment of the evil magic that Zant cast on you. It's definitely different from our tribe's shadow magic. Careful, if you touch it, you'll turn back into a beast. This thing is too dangerous. It's probably for the best if we just leave it here, huh? But wait a minute. But on the other hand, if we kept it, you'll be able to transform into a beast anytime you want it. Yes, yeah, since Zant was kind enough to give this to us, we should be thankful and use it all we can. Good idea. If you need it, just call me. I want to keep it. I want to keep a low profile, so I'll hide in your shadow when you're a human. But I can change you whenever. You can be a wolf anytime you like. Also, thanks to this thing, you can warp whenever you want by switching into a wolf form. Thank you. Hey, but listen, Link. I've got a little favor to ask. I actually got this, you know, picture too. Would you mind coming with me to find something called the Mirror of Twilight? It's hidden somewhere in Hyrule. Yes, the Mirror of Twilight, our last potential link to Zant. So I gotta collect more shit. Okay. Well, let me, uh... Let me check out this uh, place a little bit. I only have like a minute or so left. Uh, not this side. So if we go in here and turn around, look what it is. Can I actually hook onto it? With the claw shot? Yes, I can. It's another golden bug, and it's the male snail. We're, we won't be able to get the female snail for quite a while, because it's locked away somewhere. Oh, there's an old chest. I can climb on it. So we're going to have to wait to catch the female snail. But... Let's go back out. I'll do this. Quickly, hopefully. On this. Oh, actually, it's, oh, it's a Poe. Transform into a wolf. Oh, I love this now. So to quickly kill Poe, you just want to do the energy thing. Oh no, hey, hey. Oh, come on. Yeah, see, I screwed myself. I said quickly do this. Man, I'm getting, this is just ridiculous.
promise to do better uh, on next on the next Poe encounters on future uh, Poe encounters. Okay, so this is where the rock I blew up was at. So you want to hit Y. so much like you know a lot more agile jeez how many of these things are there it's getting ridiculous well I think I'm gonna have to turn into a human to get that one on the ceiling I think I don't know no, not bombs. Thought I still had the claw shot. Uh, I'll use the guild boomerang. Oh, Jesus. It's a piece of heart. It's our 17th. Okay. Good time to end the episode since I'm starting to play sucky. I'll catch you guys later.